Hello, this is John N5ID, and I want to show you how I set up my transmit audio on this great Yaesu FT710. My meter is already on ALC. Normally, I leave it on SWR. To change the meter, you simply touch on it and tell it whatever setting you want. I have found that the compression meter is pretty much useless. You'll never get above five on the compression. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the rig. Of course, my mic is an Audio-Technica Pro 41, and it's probably not that hot of a mic to drive the rig hard. Let's go back to ALC. And again, I want to show you how I set up my transmit audio. The first thing I want to do is hit the function that takes us to the main menu and you'll notice the different options that you can change here uh, mic gain, my mic gain is set on 55 percent for my audio technica mic probably if you're using the hand mic you'll need to leave that at the default 50 percent i have the mic gain turned on and i'll show you where we actually change the transmit equalizer in a little bit if we turn the mic gain off we're just going to get a flat transmit I have my processor turned way up because, again, my microphone's not a real hot mic, and I've got my processor set on 65%. You'll want to leave the AMC automatic mic gain, you'll want to leave that on 100%. And with that AMC, that's a great feature this radio has. It's virtually impossible to overdrive the radio. And what you want to do is watch the meter and make sure you're not getting in the blue and let's try this real quick I am transmitting into my dummy load testing one two one two three two one uh, that's perfect if it touches the blue on a high that's fine just don't get much more than that into the blue uh, that that to me is perfect audio uh, let me show you how I set up my transmit equalizer. Uh, the first thing that I want to show you, hit radio settings, mode SSB, and go down until you get to the transmit bandwidth. Now, a lot of people like 300 to 2700 hertz. I prefer 200 to 2800 hertz you can play around with that you need to listen to your voice either on a another transceiver I set mine up listening to my ICOM 7300 as I set up the transmit audio you can also use web SDR and listen to your voice over the uh, World Wide Web now the next thing I want to show you let's go back and let's go to operation settings transmit audio and in the transmit audio you have your parametric equalizer now the parametric equalizer allows you three different equalizations uh, or frequencies to choose for equalization on mine I chose 300 Hertz for parametric equalizer level 1 1300 Hertz for parametric equalizer number two and you'll see 2400 hertz for parametric equalizer number three now let's go back up i'm going to do my best to explain this this is the level of the 300 hertz frequency that i either want to decrease or boost well since 300 hertz is more of the bass range uh, my voice with my microphone comes across with a lot of bass so I just took all the bass out and the next option here is parametric equalizer bandwidth I think in the manual it says that that's the Q of a frequency basically what that is that option is telling the radio what bandwidth do I want to affect do I want to affect a large bandwidth or a small bandwidth the lower you go in number the more bandwidth you affect. In other words, if I was to set that at 10, I wouldn't be uh, affecting much bandwidth, maybe just 200 to 
300 to 400 hertz, something like that. The lower I go with that number, the more bandwidth I'm going to affect really between 300 and, and 1300 hertz. And so I want to take out a lot of bass. And so I told it to affect a large bandwidth with the number two. Now let's go down to the next setting. That is 1300 hertz on parametric equalizer number two. And on this one, I wanted to amplify the mid ranges just a little bit. So I went to four and I still want to affect a large range of frequencies. So I set the parametric equalizer bandwidth or Q at two and then the next frequency that I chose for parametric equalizer three was 2400 Hertz now here uh, I want to really amplify the highs in my signal and so I set it at 10 and I want to affect a large bandwidth so I set that at one now of course your settings are going to have to be tailored to your specific voice I will give you the settings that I came up with for the hand mic, but this is simply for me. Um, I used the same frequency range on parametric equalizer 1, 300 hertz. I set my level to minus 8, and I set the bandwidth to 2. On parametric equalizer 2, which was 1300 hertz, I set the level to 2 and the bandwidth to 2. And on parametric equalizer 3, which is for 2400 hertz, I set the level to 10 and the bandwidth to 1. And I had the mic gain at 60% and the processor level at 30%. And that seemed to work well with the hand mic. But again, you're going to have to tailor it uh, to your voice. Now, there's one other thing you need to understand. There's another set of parametric equalizers in here when you go down in the menu and they appear to look almost exactly like the ones above it with the exception there's a P in front of each one a P in front of parametric equalizer 1 a P in front of parametric equalizer 2 and you see the P in front of parametric equalizer number 3 these settings deal with whether or not you're using the processor if I have the speech processor on, then the radio uses the P space parametric equalizer settings. If I have the speech processor off, then the radio uses the parametric equalizer settings that does not include the P. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to say it one more time. If I have the speech processor on, the radio uses the P space parametric equalizer settings. If I have the speech processor off, then it uses the settings that does not have the P attached. Uh, one other thing, I normally use the processor. I think the processor does a great job on this radio, and I love my transmit audio, and I've gotten a lot of great reports with this radio. So let's uh, get out of this menu and go back. Again, this is your main menu where you set your levels. And again, I just want to show you on the meter. Testing one, two, three. Uh, we're heating up there good, but we're not getting into the blue. We're not overdriving it. One other thing that's really neat about this radio is the voice message memory. This is where you can record CQ into the radio. Now, when you do your recording, make sure break-in is off. And when you're ready to send the recording over the air, make sure break ends on. We will go in here quickly and I'll show you. I, I have already set up memory channel one. So we'll set up one of the other memory channels. And all, to record this, all you do is you hit the mem button and then you hit what memory channel you want to record into. I'm gonna do number two. When you push the put, push to talk button, it is recording. This is a test recording, testing one, two, three. And when you unkey the push to talk, it is recorded. Push the put, push to talk button, it is recording. This is a test recording, testing one, two, three. And 
to send that out over the air and play it back, you simply press on the memory channel. That's a great feature in this radio, and it sounds really, really good uh, going out over the air. It's the exact voice uh, that, uh, uh, I'm not sure how I want to say it. It's the exact same voice as if you were keying up and just talking into the radio. Great feature. I love that feature. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this helps you with setting up the transmit audio. God bless.